So, true to his word, Demoff read it, read the mean tweets. But first, I broke out the yellow today, Orange. Or, <laughs> I just called you Orange, Justin. <laughs> Let's try that again. It's day two of the latest round of games. Try to get to Paul in just a little bit, and we'll be uh, right back after this. A lot's changed in the last couple of weeks, and one of the things that I've learned is to just cut myself a little bit of break. There's not a lot of traditional learning going on in that classroom, but that's not to say that my kids aren't learning valuable lessons. We've been having fun. And what we are finding over the next couple of days here, Wednesday through Friday, 0% percent. What am I, from Texas? Christina. Hello All right, there. good morning. Let's Hello. do a quick tour of the <laughs> studio. On? Yes, a virtual <laughs> tour here. <laughs> Well, three buildings have been destroyed after an intense fire ripped through them in Rumford, and now all that's left is a pile of rubbers, rubble. They're closing? Yes, next Tuesday. Okay, the last thing I want to be when the end of the world comes is sober. Guys, quiet, or I'm blocking Fortnite. Keeping it local now this morning, a new tutoring partnership in Nina is helping equip high school girls, Shelly, you're on TV, to pursue their post-secondary oh, dreams. <laughs> it's called the Shoulders to Stand On program. <laughs> Madison's got the EP stretch. You see that in the back yeah. left? Nice I job, Madison. See that. We got like, Kevin. Oh, oh! oh. <laughs> oh I missed you that. You guys missed, missed it. it. I missed it. Oh my it. gosh. Safe. Coming up next. <sighs> and you need five days of tougher restrictions. Now, whether that would apply either side of Christmas or all after Christmas, if you allowed a relaxation over the festive season is really not completely clear at this stage. The 8 million new subscribers since January, all sharing the same password. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's sweet. That's <laughs> all right. It's <laughs> funny because it's true. And because your party goers are going to be thirsty, we got to get a 36. Did that just happen? That just happened. That just happened. And they didn't see it. Tomorrow, state leaders are expected to meet with schools and provide suggestions on how to plan for school this coming fall. Education reporter Wayne Carter tells us doctors are weighing into the conversation now with advice they think is important for schools to follow. You've heard of snowboarding, but what about... What? Sandboarding. <laughs> A sneaky way to convince your kids to exercise. We're taking you inside the Ninja Factory in Chula Vista. Oh my gosh. That's where WMC Action News 5's Kelly Roberts is live this morning. Kelly, can you tell us what you're saying? Hey, good morning, Ariana and Andrew. Trump, the 45th president of the United States, has contracted by uh, HIV. <laughs> and contracted uh, HIV. Contracting COVID-19, each one and one is on my mind as well too. But anyway, reporting inside Globe Life Fart, Fart, Globe Life Fart. <laughs> All right, take two. Oh man. Three, two, one. <laughs> Stop it. The explosion of wildfires here locally, plus. No, I'm meteorologist Alex O'Brien, News 5. Let's turn to weather now. If you wanted to get outside, spread your legs a little or stretch a little, today was a, a great day to enjoy. Meteorologist Craig Flint here now with your Fox First forecast. Um, Craig. Yes. Take it away. Great for a blooper. This is just 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 great for a blooper. Morning news hell. Morning news hell. Morning news hell. Morning news hell. Hey hey ho ho. 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 
Okay, Carl, uh, with the latest, as always, thanks very much. Plenty more ahead tonight, including... The fields of black cabs as taxis are taken off the road. Those aren't the right pictures, but we will show you them due to a drop in passengers. Now, over the next seven days, we are going to see a uh, storm. We trying to get in on the forecast here. <laughs> uh, so we have some big changes coming up. Unfortunately, uh, my cat decided to mess with my weather computer here, and I, I can't really back up to where we were at. Wait. What? Day is it? Oh, it's Wednesday. I think. And those details have yet to be released. And happening, coming up, we'll tell you more states reopening, what this means for sports looking to return. Silicon, we'll tell you what this will be the new norm for sports fans. Hi. What's on your post-it note there, Linz? Oh, my post-it note? Well, this is a new uh, so laptop. Pretty. It is my <laughs> password, in case anybody was wondering. <laughs> Just gonna take that off. <laughs> Well, the pandemic has many of us thinking twice about what we touch in public. Coke and Amazon teaming up to remove the soda machine from that list. You can go. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. Coke's new freestyle machine will include a QR code. It's choreography, Carrie. A big section of the new mile-long bridge opened this morning. The northbound lanes are now open on the Tri-State Tollway. Roz Varon is live, and Roz, you've been keeping us up to date for almost a year on this project. <laughs> I have, and as soon as I get ready to go on the air, the doorbell <laughs> rings and the dogs bark. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what else can go wrong? But it haven't really hit our parking lot yet, so it's really ain't affecting me yet. But once it do hit that, they probably gonna tell us to evaporate and then that's what gets on my nerves all the time. We gotta keep evaporating. Or, yeah. yeah. And I know we're right by Bowling Creek and you said that this happens a lot, that you all have flooding here? Yes, we, it, I mean, when I first moved here, I think the first night I moved here, it was like this, so we had to like evaporate. All right, everyone, coming up. <laughs> Hi. <That's true. laughs> Here I am. I made it. You made it. You sure did. Nobody noticed a thing. <laughs> Nobody noticed a thing. 625, everyone. <laughs> coming Magic. Up on... <laughs> coming up on 16 Morning News Now. <laughs> Flavor is so good, Kelly. It's delicious. It really is. So you'd set this out on your table and people would just yeah. kind of munch before yeah. they had dinner. That's wonderful. I'm going to eye my cream and crab soup and put skim milk in it tomorrow. Uh, you had better not, <laughs> TJ. Everybody, I give it a 10. I give it a 10. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Kelly, it's really, 10. really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> it's time to take a look at the world of sports, y'all. <laughs> And that's it for sports tonight, but WCPO 9 news continues right after this. What? Really? Poop? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your input. <laughs> Was it really that bad? Yeah. yeah, okay. I'll try it again. You're going to have trouble driving home from work, whether you're in the thick of it or you've got some of that heavy slushy slow on the ground it just makes those roads so much slippier slip, slip, slip. <laughs> slip well you slip. went on a slippery slope there to begin with <laughs> I, I don't know what you said before I that but it was close I was like say that again I can't okay. we'll just pass that one to you <laughs> oh no don't hand it to me now just goes to show you best friends come in all shapes and sizes Duke the calf and Rex the chicken met at a farm animal sanctuary in Arizona and they've been inseparable ever since. The unlikely pair enjoys their time outside cuddling together. It's cute. It reminds me of that joke. My nephew's favorite joke. What do you get when you cross a brown chicken and brown cow? Brown chicken, brown cow. At 7 o'clock this evening, both will expire at 10 o'clock in the morning. What's up, Casey? And we are looking at what will likely be another round of some light snow flurry activity. Hey, what's up, Casey? I think I'm going to have to switch to navigating for Casey through the studio so he doesn't walk in front of the camera. Oh, wait, here we go. <laughs> tunnel for the past few months. Now, 
<laughs> I, I didn't realize you were back on. I went down and you had video on the mic there, but there we go. Thank you, Leland. Live TV, gotta love it. <laughs> this is gonna make the blooper real for sure. Another tough issue he wants lawmakers to address is liability. Excuse me. Can, uh, and come here. I need you to not be in my shot. Thank you. Can you sit? Good boy. Thank you. I love you. Okay. Are you in my shot still? <laughs> Ugh, goodness. Good morning, everyone. I'm Allie Meyer. And he is Robert Miller, and I am Lauren Daniels in for Kent Ogle this morning. It's Monday. It's hard to get when back Kent to sleep. We need all the help we can get. We bring everyone in. Wait, Team Kendra here him. on the news desk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just stay Good busy Good morning, today. Emily and Damien. No slackers allowed here. Uh -huh. I love that. You know what? Just get a nice little jog in. Get your heart racing. Helps warm you up. It's a cold start. Now, let's have a quick look at the weather. And uh, in fact, I promised you the weather. Um, and I uh, think I've got the weather somewhere. Um, I have got. No, we don't have the weather. I'll bring you the weather in uh, just a moment. And. Uh, uh, Sorry about that. I thought we had the weather, but uh, we didn't. We'll get it for you in just a moment. Let's get back to the top story now. The rising warmer air in through the inland valleys and the mountains and the deserts, all of that rising. You know what? Hold on. Sorry. Hey, Dolly, Dolly, Dolly. Nope, nope. Come here. Dolly, come here right now. Sorry. Sorry. That is, um, sorry. <laughs> that would never have happened. All my animals are, sorry, my uh, dog was going after one of the chickens, but all is well now. Uh, I can't believe that just happened. Appa apologies. Um, they're all out of sorts because I'm home and they don't know what to do with themselves. Uh, all is well, so... <laughs>